basically, I don't think I intro this video good enough, so that's why I'm introing it now. This is the whole Here Come the Girls vlog. I hope you guys enjoy it so, so much. By the way, I didn't actually film my face that much, actually speaking to the camera, because of how overwhelmed I was. I was with two people that I'd never met before, and even though they made me feel very comfortable, I didn't feel the need to vlog because I was getting to know them and we were speaking about quite deep things quite a lot of the time but anyway it was an amazing amazing day and the show was incredible but I just want you guys to enjoy this vlog so sit back relax enjoy the vlog like comment subscribe do all that good stuff and share it with your mates I'll see you at the end of the video good morning guys my phone is definitely shaking because I am shaking myself but today we are off to Hull to go and watch Here Come The Girls. There I'm meeting Kira and Holly. Kira, we are like so excited to meet because it's going to make our friend Holly happy as well as us. So it's like a win-win. And obviously with Holly, I'm basically sitting next to her. We didn't book the tickets together, but we, just look, we are lucky enough to be sitting next to each other. So when I meet her after school... <clears throat> That's going to be exciting because the last time I went to a show was only last weekend. Like, not the weekend just gone, but the one before that. And I love being, like, independent like that. So hopefully today is the same. Currently on my way to the bus stop, the bus station kind of thing, where I live. So it's not that far of a walk, but I don't actually know what time the bus has come. Which is why I've come a lot earlier than what I actually need to. So therefore I could wait 20 minutes and still be at Newcastle in time. It is so windy today. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me, but it is so, so windy. So I'm praying to God you can. So I'm now on my train on the way to Hull. I got the train from Newcastle at quarter to 10. Then I got into York for, um, I think it was 20 to 11. And then I had a 10 minute stopover in York. However, it wasn't really like a stopover because we didn't like, my train was already ready to board. So I just got straight on it, waited for about five minutes. Then it just like took off, well, it took off because it's not plain. But like then it just kind of like, you know, started to, to go off. Um, so this train is extremely empty. I'm due to get in at actual Hull, which is where this train terminus so I can't go too far like I can't miss my stop um, I'm due to get in at 12 on the dot I am so nervous I feel like so many people have had such high expectations of me and to have to fulfill those is quite you know you know make it makes me quite anxious but very 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 exciting and I've got my tan on also, I didn't tell you guys, but my tattoo basically it says "Be yourself" on it. But the L and the F at the end had a massive, like not a massive scab, but they had the biggest scab out of the lot. And my mum always said, "Hannah, don't take the scab because it'll ruin the ink and it'll come through really faint." Well, I didn't believe her, and I picked the scab. I don't normally pick scabs, but the fact that it was getting caught on my bobble every time I put a bobble on my wrist, I picked it. And she's so right. Like, look. So this weekend coming up, or sometime during next week, I'm getting my L and the F redone. You don't need a lot of money. When I say this, by the way, I don't have a clue where I am. Like I've never been to Hull before, and tomorrow I'm going to Billingham. I've never been to Billingham. However, on Thursday, I'm going to Whitney Bay. I've definitely been to Whitney Bay. It's like a 50 minute drive from my house. But Hull today, which is like the furthest way I'm, well, not the furthest way I'm going, but this week it is. And then Billingham, and I'm going to be in like a completely different place where I've never been before. So I'm counting on Google Maps. Like right now, I'm in a place called Selby. Like, what kind of name is that? I don't know, but Selby apparently, you know. It's just long as I. Right, I feel like Kira is close. I just met 
I had uh, Amy having my career. Didn't manage to meet her. But Diane, Amy, Patrick was calling him Ben. God, oh my god, I see him. Pigeons when we met. Yeah, we had to we had to squat on the floor like this. <laughs> Which one are you looking at? Under the sea. I've kind of just hijacked like Kira's phone. Just gonna, just gonna... What? It's weird by like, talking to you, to you and Kira at the same time. When we're together. <laughs> Hi. I wanted to answer that. Yeah. Wait, what is what did I just see? Oh look at this shell. Right, okay, I'm vlog I'm vlogging again next to it. We're in Primark. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I've got these glasses on, I look snazzy, don't I? <gasps> it's Americano! It's Steve! No, it's not, it's Steve! <laughs> oh Steve this that's downgrade. Anyway. <laughs> Steve. Oh, latte. La the latte. Latte, yeah. A latte. A latte. Oh. I say latte, right? <laughs> Look at this. I want this in my life. side of the building to get there but, hi. Um, so they did come and they did say hi Amy went like this on my camera so I kind of freaked out and Diane waved straight into my phone I and I was like I was like what the actual but um we all think it's Christmas at the minute because the fucking lights are up on the tree but um it's currently 10 past 10 is it yeah it's currently 10 past 10 and I have 40 minutes to get my train but this always happens, I get too excited, walk so fast, get there, and I've got like half an hour to wait, which is a nightmare. But we're gonna go anyway. Also, the girls we spoke to there were, were lovely. They were very nice. Very, very, very nice people. <laughs> wait, you're no, going. And we're going. Yeah. That is fine. Well, it was lovely. 